What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Just wrapped up the piece on Jordan Eberle on uh, this prospect profile. We're going to focus in another key part of the Edmonton Oilers' future. Uh, Oscar Kleffbaum, Swedish defenseman, presently playing his trade with uh, Fardstads of the Swedish Elite League. Um, you know, 19th overall pick in 2011. You know, you look at him, Justin Schultz, uh, Dave Musial. Uh, Colton Tuber, those are going to be the young defensemen going forward in Edmonton that will come, you know, Everly Hall, Nugent Hopkins, Yakupov, you know, those guys. So, you know, I'm really excited to see what he can do in uh, another cont contribution from William Shalow. Uh Great size at 6'3", 201, excellent skater, tremendous offensive instincts. You know, th those three together have you salivating over him at the defense position, you know, kind of like a baseball player being a five-tool player. He's really got all the tools to be a top flight, top pairing defenseman. Um, you know, he's got a top four deep, top pairing potential, and, uh, you know, if he doesn't reach it, you're looking at Douglas Murray style. Actually, Douglas Murray is supposed to go out Tiger Woods' ex-wife. Found that interesting. Uh, but, you know, you're looking at a guy who, worst case scenario, is a four or five guy that can really help you out and show flashes, and I like what he can do. His numbers don't blow you away, but you got to take him with a grain of salt. He's playing against men in Sweden. He had two goals in 33 games this year and uh, two points in 23 games last year. So, that, you know, they're not going to blow you away. But his numbers on the international circuit are great. You know, two points at the WJC last year, won a gold medal with Sweden, uh, four points in the under-20 league this year in 15 games. So, I mean, he's not the highest scoring guy, but, you know, he's got the potential. It's just a matter of putting it together. And Edmonton's going to be a high-powered team offensively for the next five or six years. So he's going to fit in great. Um, I think he will need AHL seasoning because he's coming over. He's been playing as men, but playing on a smaller ice surface. Situations are different. You're going to see different things develop. It's going to be tough for him, but I think he's going to be great. And I think you look at him, like I said, that, that back end going forward on potential is going to be great. It's just a matter of him you know, delivering on that. But, you know, when you've got it all, when you've got the whole package and you've just got to put it, you know, piece it together, he, uh, he does. And that's something you, you look for. And I think it's guys like him, usual. Sign of Charles all that. Other reason Edmonton didn't go to the defenseman this year in the draft. Took Yagapov, took the high scoring because they had the confidence in Clefbaum and the rest of them to, to get it done. I'm excited to see what he can do. He's going to be in Sweden next year. He'll be expect him in the AHL in 2013 or North America. And yeah, that next year is going to be a big year in his development. He just turned 19 last month, so he's got um got a lot of room to grow, and he will be a great top flight defenseman in the NHL for many years. Uh, that's all I got. This episode of the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles on uh. Edmonton Oil's prospect and current Fajestad's defenseman Oscar Kleffbaum. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.